إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعين ونستغفره نعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له الشدع لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها فإن كل محدثات بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار وإنما توعدون لآت وما أنتم بمعجزين Greet you all with the greeting of Islam Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh May the peace and the blessing of Almighty Allah be with you all I'd like to welcome you all for continuation of our series Corona and this is going to be segment number 17 segment number 17 under the subject corona and why we call it corona because everybody try to find a means and ways to protect themselves against corona but as i stated before corona is only one thing that you should be worried about it there is a lot of things else that we should be seeking allah's protection against it not only corona not only illness not only disease but there is many 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 things that in existence while maybe we are not paying attention to it or not we aware about it but the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to seek refuge and protection with Allah against certain things. So today, inshallah, we take in a segment about how to put your mask when you have something it can be harmful for you. And this statement, بَابُ مَا يَقُولُ مَنْ خَافَ قَوْمًا this chapter invocation for if you are if you are if you are what let's see what they say if you fear people may harm you doesn't matter these people are your nationality your color the policemen or the immigration or uh, they show up by night or by day doesn't matter okay what to say if you fear people may harm you okay so when you see you get stopped or that you assuming this these people who are knocking in your door they are not attending good for you or that people who stop you on the highway or in the rest area that you can see that they may thinking about harming you and you get this feeling and this fear what you were supposed to say you say what the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to do and what he taught us by saying allahumma ikfinihim bima shi'at 
اللهم مكفنيهم بما شئت اللهم اكفنيهم بما شئت and this is in the collection of Imam Muslim رحمة الله عليه and you saying O oh Allah suffice me which means protect me against them however you wish you will say O oh Allah suffice me protect me shield me against them however you wish now what is the means is for you to say this dua with a faith and believe in Allah how Allah will do is this not your business okay Allah will make a means okay that maybe Allah will send you understand a patrol car coming and these people will start running away or that maybe you understand Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they aim a gun against you but they found that the bullet is not working or that the gun is empty we don't know how but you aqilha wa tawakkal tie your camel then trust in Allah you don't know how but you turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with sincerity and dua and saying Allahumma ikfinihim bima shi'at Allahumma means O oh Allah ikfinihim minal kifaya suffice me shelter me uh, save me from them okay how bima with whatever shi'ta that mean you will from the Mashia, the will of Allah and actuality we can also use this program or this series that we work on in it to learn Arabic because you can take the words word by word and learn it so when you see the word again in the Quran or in Hadith or some place you say yeah yeah this is all oh, like Masha Allah you know the word Masha Allah and this word here okay so you can see you see these words repeated again and again in hadith in dua in dhikr in quran so by learning this adhkar in arabi okay and repeating them in its proper time inshallah you will have a good foundation with your vocabulary which you can make it more easy on you to learn it again we're going to learn the dua again Allahumma Allahumma ikfinihim ikfinihim alif and kaf ikfi ikfini اكفي فاء ني ان نون يا هم ذم هم من ذم اوكي okay. اكفي ني هم صفا اسمي شلطر مي تكير اوف مي بما شئ بيا with ما what شئت or شئت means will whatever however you will a short hadith is powerful easy to learn and inshallah you can work on it whenever you see a people and you feel that they may attend the harm or you fear that harm it can come from them towards you with this inshallah we come to conclusion to our segment today looking forward to see you again tomorrow inshallah in 6 p.m eastern time sharp in time all right thank you anybody have correction have question have addition have deletion anything that i can help with before i close all right anybody 
you guys, inshallah, like you say, if I can be in any assistant, if a group of you will come together and decide to get Arabic class for beginners, it will cost you only 99 cents for the whole semester. <laughs> okay? You know, when you say it free, nobody wants to come, but when you tie it with some money, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? So, we talk about it, inshallah, more in details. Thank you for being here. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you for being here, everybody. And by the way, that uh, I'm sitting behind the, some of the Adli publication, which maybe some of you did not see it. All right. I can turn the camera so you can see some of the new publication here. Okay. We have Ramadan. Okay, Arabic for beginner, which is four volumes. This number three, this number two. And we have 40 hadith for Islamic school. We have articles of belief. The basic fundamental book is very important. We have Arabic for beginner for little kids. Okay, we look to the other frame. We have once upon the time by the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We have 200 hadith for Muslim women. We have a book of da'wah called Islam is. We have a very special book called Sunnah and Bid'ah. All right. Or called Bid'ah and Common Mistakes. My popular book, which is Wudu and Salah. You have, Ya Allah, pardon me. You have Wudu and Salah in Spanish. You have How to Be a Muslim Husband. And you have a hundred advice by the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. By the way, Ramadan coming soon. We're going to have a thousand book for a thousand dollar. Okay, as example, this book called Seven Dollars. Okay, each. All right, this book four dollars. This book is three dollars. But we're going to make about different titles, about 11 different titles, a minimum of 100 each until you have a thousand copy of 11 books. And this will be only one thousand dollar. You can share it. You can do it. As I eat, give to your friend. You can donate it to your mask. It's very good investment. Inshallah. Thank you. Enjoy your rest of the day. Inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. If you haven't stopped by the masjid, this is the first door. This is the office. You can go see if the imam is there, if you need any assistance.